Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at an extension today that is a not really something that's going to help you with doing input and that sort of thing, but help optimize your model, maybe make it run better, and definitely save some file size. The extension we're going to talk about is Material Resizer. Material Resizer is from the SketchUp team, and we just put it out, and it's a great tool to help you keep your big bloated images uh, into a controllable size. So. Uh, it's a free download. You just go onto the extension warehouse, look for Material Resizer, and install. To take a look at how this works, we're going to take a look at this model. I downloaded this model from the 3D warehouse. It has a bunch. This is actually, this model does a great job of kind of showing the sorts of things you can do with materials. Look at these materials on these, this pillow here. These magazines and books. The, uh, this is, I geeked out a little bit right here, but if I zoom in here, look at these, these petals and, and stamen, is that what they're called? Flower parts, just really cool use of images in this model, they did a great job. Issue being, they did use some big, big images. Whoever created this, created, used some big images they imported. Um, again, it looks great if it was good for render. It's not a huge, overly bloated model. I didn't want to pull up something that wasn't even going to orbit or anything like that, but uh, you know, they can get that way. You can't import too big of images, too much data, and bog down SketchUp. So what I want to look at is what a Material Resizer does. It is very simple. So once installed, it's going to show up here under Extension, Material Resizer. So I'm going to go ahead and click Material Resizer, and it's going to pop up a little box. This dialog will list all of the images in the model. So you can see here's everything that makes up this model. You can see like the magazine covers, uh, flower parts, and it lists them by size. So down here at the bottom, we have some uh, ground cover wood mix, 256 by 256, little tiny image, that's great. Up here at the top, we have this one's 3000 by 1876. So a big material. What we can do here, this is kind of cool. I can select only certain materials to resize. So I could say, I just want to resize this top material. And then I can tell it what I want to reduce it to. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the biggest number. In this case, it'll take that 3000 and resize it to 512. It'll proportionately then shrink the other dimension. So it's going to keep everything. It's not going to distort anything, just squash it to 512 by 512, but it'll make the largest dimension on the image 512 and keep the image proportionate. If I hit go right now, it's just gonna go in and resize that one material. Boom, and now if I go look for that material, here it is, 512 by 320. If I was to come in here and select all, if I click select all, everything's gonna get highlighted. If I hit go right now, it's only gonna reduce the images that are over 512. It's not going to take these smaller ones and size them up or anything like that. So if I hit go, it's going to come up and tell me, give it a second, and then nine more materials resize. So you can see that's these top nine materials that had dimensions over 512. I click OK, and there we go. All my materials are now smaller. So one thing again you'll see here is if I have a really big model with lots and lots of images, this only had 10 large images, but if I have a lot of big images, it will slow down the model. Performance will suffer eventually. In this case, it wasn't huge, but it will have an effect on the model. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come up, rather than save, I'm going to do a save as real quick. And I'm going to save as, it's already interior example, I'm going to call it interior example resize and I'm going to save it. So now if we go grab, let's take a look at the properties there. So here we go. So I dropped three meg just by resizing those 10 materials. And again, for all intents and purposes, you guys, this is not going to cause a huge impact on the imagery. It's not going to look like garbage just because I resized to smaller. So in this particular example, it didn't make an enormous impact. It didn't, you know, shrink it to one third the size, but if you have enough images, it can make a big impact like that. It is a great way too to keep your model tidy. 
I don't need 4K resolution images inside of something like this. Um, so it really helps keep those to manageable size. And the nice thing is it's going to automatically work only on the files that are bigger than the number that you decide you want to use. So there you go. That's the material resizer from the SketchUp team, available now on the extension warehouse. Again, not a huge impact kind of extension. It's not going to change the way you model everything, but if you use a lot of photorealistic images, it's going to save you some file size, especially if you bring in high resolution imagery. Let us know what you thought of this video and the extension. Leave a comment down below, maybe subscribe or like. We like reviewing extensions, but we like it more when we're looking at the extensions that you want to see. Thank you.